Today's class, I'm going to discuss about how to write the very large Hatchdale program for base 3 to XS3. So before I start to write the program, first I write the truth table for base 3 to XS3, then find the Boolean expression, then come to write the program. So here, the range of base 3 is 0 to 9. So 0 to 9 is the range of base 3. So it's base 3. This one is XS3. So this BCD number is the 4 bit number that represent P3, B2, B1, B0. So XS3 represent E3, E2, E1, E0. So double zero double zero 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 one zero zero one zero 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 double one zero one double zero zero one zero one zero double one zero zero triple one one triple zero then one double zero one so it's a busy number the corresponding excess three is so 0 equivalent x is 3, 3. So 0, 0, 1, 1. 1 equivalent x is 3, 4. 0, 1, double 0. Then 5, 0, 1, 0, 1. Here 6, 0, double 1, 0. 7, 0, triple 1. Then 8, 1, triple 0. Then 9, 1, double 0, 1. So 7 equivalent x is 3, 10, 1, 0, 1, 0. 8 equivalent x is 3, 11, 1, 0, double 1. 9 equivalent x is 3, 12. Double 1, double 0. So, so far, we write the truth table for B3 to x is 3. Now, I am going to find the Boolean expression for this x is 3. So, let me consider E3. So let me consider E3. So find the Boolean expression for E3 using k map. So it's a four variable. Here I am using four variable k map. I need 16 cells. Then assign the input variable for this k map. So here input variable is b3, b2, b1, b0. So b3, b2, b1, b0. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Then assign the cell numbers 0, 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 7, 6. 8, 9, 11, 10, 12, 13, 15, 14. So after that, fix the values. So fix the output values into the cell. So here, cell number 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these 5 cells are placed to 1. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So remaining uh, 10 to 15. So 10 to 15, these cells consider as don't care. So these cells consider as don't care. So after putting the don't care values, now verify the grouping possibility. So here, cell number 8, 9, 11, 10, 14, 15, 13, 12. These 8 cells make one quad. Sorry, octet. So these 8 cells make one octet. Then Cell number 7, 6, 14, 15. It make one quad. Then cell number 5, 7, 15, 13. It make another quad. So quad 1, quad 2. So after grouping of this came up, now write the Boolean expression. So E3 equal to, let me consider this octet first. So here the common term is B3. So vertical side common term is B3. Plus, then consider this part 1. So, here in this vertical side, the common term is B2. So, B2 is the common term B2. In horizontal side, 
the common term is so here common term is b1 so b2 dot b1 then come to quad 2 so here in vertical side common term is b2 then horizontal side the common term is b0 so e3 expression is b3 plus b2 b1 plus b2 b0 so likewise we find e1 and e0 and e2 using k-map so after simplification of k-map we will get the expression e2 equal to b2 power b1 plus b2 power b0 plus b2 b1 power b0 power then e1 equal to b1 b0 plus b1 power b0 power then e0 equal to b0 power so now I am going to write the very last step report for B series to X S three. So as usual, first you write module, then module name. So module name is B series to X S three. So it's a module name. So within a bracket, mention the input variables and output variables for this program. So here we have a two variable. So B and E. So then declaration of input variable and output variable. So input. So here input is the BCD. So this BCD number is a 4 bit value. So it represents delta format 3 down to 0 B. Then output. So output is a XS3. So this code also 4 bit value. It represents 3 down to 0 E. Then assign e of three. So first I write this Boolean expression. So e of three equal to b three. So b three plus so plus represent or operation. So this line represent or operation. Then b two dot b one. So b of two, b of one. Then or operation b two and with b0 so b2 and with b0 so here and operation represent ampersand symbol then the next boolean expression assign e of 2 equal to b2 bar b1 so not of b2 and with b1 then or operation b2 bar and with b0 so b2 and with b0 then or operation so b2 and not of b1 and not of b naught. Then come to next Boolean expression e1 assign e1 equal to b1 b naught. So b1 and b naught or operation b1 bar and b naught bar. So not of b1 and not of b naught then come to final expression e naught assign e naught equal to not of b naught not of b naught then finally close the module using the statement end module so this is the Simple way to write B0 to XS3 very well HDL program. So first you write the truth table. So after writing the truth table, you can find the Boolean expression using K-map. So after finding all the Boolean expression, we can write the program very easy manner. I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you.